favor with Microsoft Surface and um, we brought these down to the event because we've got some social applications that people at the event can really get into, um, participate with each other and they stop looking at their phones and actually talk to other people for a while. Right? Yeah, and I'm out of business cards after three minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go back to the car and get another load of them. Yeah. So, yeah, so we've got this little application where um, I can set, we pre-register everybody um, and if you come late, we can register you on the fly and there's a little tag on here that allows um, Surface to actually see who you are. And I set this card down, and the first thing you'll notice is that it comes up and it says, these are the applications that I can launch. And Event Live has all the Twitter feeds, the uh, tweets that are coming through about the event, as well as photos from Flickr that are coming through about the event. So all the polling, polling all these APIs all right, and data. Right, right from the internet. And so, at, while we're at the event, there are all these photographers walking around. They're taking pictures. Those are showing up here. So you're seeing keynotes almost as they're happening, right? And then you're seeing the tweets coming around from people. So here come the tweets. They're coming through. And the cool thing about this is when somebody sits down, you can sit around anywhere around here. And when you touch it, it orients to you. So like this photo will turn around to where my finger is pointing. Uh -huh. So it's it's really something that everybody can participate in, you, wherever you are on the table. Now can I connect with those people somehow? If so I you can't anything? necessarily connect with the tweets uh -huh. um, with this version of it, but what you can do is you can connect with each other. So if I put my card down, you put your card down, now I can say, here's my business card, I'm gonna hand it over to you, oh, nice. and it'll fill it in, you can do the same and then we're exchanged. And I can also go in here and say, hey, I like this photo, I'm gonna take it and drop it onto my card. Now I have content, I've got a bunch of them that I've, I've taken at the conference, and uh, now those are stored for me. So after the conference, I can go to a website and uh, grab that information, grab the contacts that I have, and it kind of makes it a personal way to connect with people. And like with, you know, with, with the cards here, you know, you can be flicking them around to all the people around the table. Everybody's joining in. They're having a fun time with it, too, which is really what yeah, the objective yeah, yeah. is, right? You well, want to enjoy it's that. cool because it, it, it's integrating a bunch of different things at the same time. Right, right, exactly. You get the social, you get the social around the table, you've got um, just people having a fun time at the conference, they are able to take a break, and we have other applications and little games and things like that too to keep them entertained while they're here. So, so let's take and do another piece and we'll do it on uh, some applications uh, for Surface. Yeah, so let's take a look at it. So I set down one of these cards here, and uh, on, on the back is a barcode. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a two D barcode. So it contains information that specifically links this to me. Yours and mine are are different and unique. And uh, when we set it down there, it shows the applications that we can launch. And we're going to go right into this um, event live application, which gets us in where we can see Twitter feeds and other things going on here live at the event. So we're going to see photos that come across here that are from the keynotes. All these photographers around here taking pictures. They're uploading into Flickr. Those start appearing on here. People tweeting about the event so from their phone this phones. Is, this is a tweet. Two minutes ago. Yep. And I can, you know, see that person there. Cool. And yep. There's a photo. Yep. Then you said something like, if I wanted to grab one of those, I can... Yep, you can drag that photo right onto your card, and now if you go into my content, you'll see all the ones that you've dragged in over the course of the conference cool. will show up in there. So then you can go after the conference and go out and check out the things that you really were interested yeah. in that you were you know, looking at. Rapidly. Yep, you can go in. And the other thing is, so exchanging the business card, you ran out of business cards. Let's do that virtually. So I pull up my business card, and I just send it over to you. And now you have mine, and then you take your card, send it over to me, now we've exchanged cards. So now we have each other's contact information. Not only do we have it on the conference bulletin, but we've also got a personal kind of connection too. And that's a nice thing, especially these events when you meet so many people, especially yeah. if it's an international event, it's, it's how do you connect up rapidly. Yeah, so after the event, you can just go to the website, you log in, you get your information, you get all the contacts that you had, the photos that you had. I mean, it just totally changes the way that you view a con conference, right? Are there any other cool applications in here that yeah. yeah, we've got a number of them. So um, 
obviously, you know, some of the some of the basics, you know, like photos, people love to play with photos. So, you know, we've got those where you could have from prior events, we didn't do that for this event, but you could have all the photos from a prior prior years um, coded up here. And so instead of animals and beaches, et cetera, it could be 2009, 2008, 2007, all, you can, no, you actually drag it out and then you can look at it and, uh, and drag it back into the pile. The other way is you can just flip through them. So you just flip through it like it's a natural little, you know, photo album. Uh -huh. And you say, oh wait, I saw that one, I want to go back to it. You know, you can pull it up right like that. So that's a Photos app, it's pretty simple. And then we have some other um, games and things like that. We have a concierge, actually this is kind of interesting from a conference perspective because after this conference each evening there are little events that they have set up. Yeah, so there's all these distributed events. Somebody might be having a special dinner. Or... Yeah, so they have two dinners. Here are where the dinners are. If I want to see these locations on the map, I just hit that and what it'll do is it'll pull up the map and here are the two locations. Cool. So I can see Spitfire, Sea Sound Lounge, there they are, here's where I am and I can say, well, let me get directions. Now this is kind of kind of silly because it's right next to it, but I can but I can get driving directions that will show me exactly, you know, where I should drive to get up there and get to the next, you know, next event. And then you have driving directions if you can see over here, you know, show exactly the turns you need. Can it drop that to your mobile device then? This doesn't have it on um, this version. It, yeah. yeah, in the future you could. That's kind of nice if you're in a foreign city. It's like, okay, where is yeah, that? Where am I? Where am I going to go? Yeah, so that's exactly what people want to do. Um, of course, the first thing people do is we have satellite views on this, right? So first thing people usually do is go find their home, wherever they are in the world, right? It's the first thing we always see them do. And but we're right here. Yeah, yeah, so we're right in here. You can see the, the conference center is, let's see, yep, right there. And uh, so we're in this building, right? There's a stairs that goes up, and like the uh, hotels are right over here. Oh, actually. I'm sorry, it's right right here, yeah. Yeah, and the hotel uh, is right next to us. So the other thing that's kind of interesting when, when people are at conferences, when you have a little downtime and you just want to relax, so we have some chess and checkers. Yeah. So, um, you know, traditional game. Chess is good. Yeah, chess is good. I'm gonna do checkers because I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm not as advanced on the chess side, but let me just show you here. So I can make a move here and um, we could be sitting across the table, we could be sitting next to each other, and we can- Checkmate. It, oh, it can tell you exactly where you're gonna go. We can lock this thing down, we can have it play against the computer. I mean, it's just kind of a nice, flexible way yeah. to view chess, and uh, when, you, when you take a piece, it falls on the edge, you can play with it. I mean, it's all meant to be very playful. There are a lot of serious applications for Surface. Um, we have a lot of business applications in hospitality, in retail, um, in healthcare, you know, but this at a conference is really about just having fun, relaxing, spending time with people. And, uh, and, and there's also like a tiles game we have here, a DJ game that we have, our DJ application where you can play music. I mean, it's just, you know, people have downtime, they want to talk to each other, but then there's a lull in the conversation, and rather than getting up and leaving, you know, you can just sit down and play a little while and they go, oh, that made, reminded me of something, right? Yeah. So it's well, kind of a fun way to engage. Eric, I wanted to thank you for uh, showing us this. I think it's the kind of technology we'd be looking for for a global event, kind of take it to the sure. next level. Really cool. Yeah, thank you for uh, stopping by.